Storm Track 3 meteorologist Katie Melvin continues coverage of today's storms that are earlier today. Yeah, she talked with a family in Decoin. They say their home and their business were significantly damaged. Both the kids started screaming and so I jumped out of bed and I knew something had hit the house. I just wasn't sure where or what. Severe weather swept through the region early Friday morning, leaving behind a path of damage and thousands without power. A local family in Decoin were woken up around 6 a.m. to the sound of a loud crash. We were sleeping in bed, both of us, and the children were still asleep. <laughs> and we just heard like a huge boom. Yeah. And I knew something. I, felt, I think I felt more, I felt it more than anything. A large tree fell into the home, destroying the front porch and top floor, causing the ceiling to fall in. Soon after, firefighters arrived on the scene to make sure everyone was okay. Some of the ceiling had fallen on my son, which is his room is the front room right there. So some of the ceiling had fallen on him. Fortunately, the family is all right, but they are shaken up from the experience. Homeowner Ashley Hughes also runs her pet grooming business from their home and plans to reopen by Monday. Hopefully as soon as I get the power turned back on, I can go back to working. So hopefully by Monday we should have everything up and going. The family posted on her business Facebook page asking the community for help. Multiple members showed up, chainsaws in hand, ready to assist the family. I don't know what our plans are right now. Right now I'm just trying to get it all cleaned up and hopefully we can just get back into the house. Yeah. That's all we really care about. Get back to about. normal as quick as possible. <laughs> yeah. Keep things, keep so. the wheels moving. For News 3, meteorologist Katie Melvin.